Hello, everybody. Um, let's talk about parents and uh, children conflicts today. Um, one of the main reasons of parents and children being in conflict is expectations. Uh, it's not only for them, it's for everybody, though. Uh, when we have expectations, like, with each other and if they are not fulfilling or every day like it's not what I thought um that makes us to actually put on the stage of conflict um so parents and children when they expect a lot from each other there is a conflict then um if parents have expectations from their children that they are our children they should do what we want they should do uh, what we feel it's good for them and even though our, the relatives or maybe the community, like they feel like parents always write for their children and then whatever parents do is actually just because of the children's uh, advantage. You know, there are some pros and cons. Like we feel like, no, children need to be sick. Children, um, uh, sorry, parents need to be sick and then children need to do uh, whatever their parents want. Um, but I have a question, like, do you think the children have the same expectations from the other side too? Like they want their parents to let understand them like why they are not good in studies, why um, they are very good at sports, what they want to do. Uh, so it's like hands on hands, you know, like um, both sides, both parties, like children and parents. So when it comes to a family, they expect a lot from each other. And then that a lot um, actually creates a conflict. That's today we need to talk, look or maybe we can talk about how we can at least minimize our expectations. Um, when we talk about our children's grades or studies, Every parent wants that um, their children needs to be like sort of first in the class, you know, they should be good in the studies, which is not bad, it's good. But if we talk about like, did we ever ask our children, like, are they good at their studies? Uh, do they need extra classes? Do they need extra support? Or if they are actually good in any kind of sports that they are doing in our school, and then they want them to be involved in that, and then parents can encourage them, you know, we sometimes just neglect that part. We sometimes feel like this is not really important. The important part is education and that's it. Um, let's just minimize our expectation that not every children, uh, not every child needs to be like, you know, always good at the studies. Uh, they should be good at the sports too, because that's not just their physical health, that's their mental health too. If they are always doing their studies and then no play, you know, no play all um, work makes the jack dull, which I feel like it's true because if we are not having entertainment in our life, if we are not um, having that moment to sit with our parents and not even have that faith that they will listen to us and then they need to do whatever they want, children will actually um, lost their faith, lost their trust in their parents. They will never sit with them. They will never talk to them about what they are struggling in their life with. And from there, the conflict going to start. And for this conflict, if we can just maybe minimize our expectations and uh, um, figuring out a better way to understand how you can support each other is going to be the key factor to actually uh, eliminate that conflict from the relationship. And uh, you can actually go to the community centers, you can talk with the counselors, you can talk with the our family counselors, like, how can I actually support in this situation? You know, like, I'm in, been in the situation with my child, like, they're not supportive or I'm not supportive in that. Whatever the situation is, don't be afraid to help, uh, seek help. Um, communication is always the key. So if you actually ask for help or if you will maybe uh, get any parenting session from any counselor, if that can help you, please go for it. Thank you.